In its first full month of being made available in South Africa, 183 Discovery Sports have found new homes. This is despite critics bemoaning the sluggish automatic gearbox and the fact that it is not exactly cheap. So this car has to be doing something right. Outside it looks just like a normal car. But yes, it is a 4x4. It's got your options to change between the different terrains, whether you're going through sand, whether you're going through water or rock, or whatever the case might be. The biggest hoo-ha though about this car is this 9-speed auto gearbox which on the road seems to be hunting quite a lot. I'm not picking that up off-road. It is stiffly sprung, so like now the next obstacle, it, it battles with the axle twisted. It hasn't got low range in a sense, but first gear does act as, a, as, as low range. So, what more do you need? What's important is to know your car, one. Secondly, know what line you're going to take. Hill descent is working, so no need to worry about if the car's going to fall over and damage something. The turning circle is amazing. You don't have to make a nine point turn just to go through obstacles. It looks low from outside. I was expecting a bit of a touch with the break over angles. I did not get that, much to my surprise again. <laughs> Steep decline. And we've done it. The Discovery Sport has replaced the Freelander, which was beset by a few gremlins of its own. It is a soft roader, but with much more 4x4 or off-road capabilities, so it could be worth its price.